Hello writers, welcome to your writing lesson today. Let's begin with your learning target. I can write using reasons to support my opinion. We should already know what an opinion is by now, but just in case, an opinion is what you feel, think, or believe about something. An opinion is what helps you make a choice. Your opinion belongs to you, just as in this image, this little boy's opinion is that strawberry ice cream is the best. The little girl's opinion is that chocolate ice cream is the best. Two different opinions, it's okay. As long as you can prove and back up why you feel or believe that way, then your opinion belongs to you and that is fine. Even if your best friend disagrees with you, that is okay. Which brings me to my next point, that's what we're gonna talk about. We are practicing writing reasons to support our opinion because the, the better you can prove your opinion, the more likely other people are gonna believe and feel the same way you do. But sometimes people do not agree with you, um, and that is okay. Today we're going to discuss um, polite ways to disagree with people. Sometimes we in, when we include these disagreements in our opinion essays, um, our opinion becomes more believable because we're able to prove it incorrect. So we're going to look at an example of, a, of an opinion essay. The title of this opinion essay is, I think I should get my own iPad. As I read this essay aloud, I want you to think of three things. Number one, what is the author's opinion? What did they think, feel, or believe? Number two, who's the audience? Who is the author writing to? Um, who is he trying to convince that he should get his own iPad? And then the third thing, we're gonna look at ways to politely disagree. So let's begin. I think I should get my own iPad. Do you know what I found out yesterday at school? I was talking with a group of my friends and all of them have their own iPads. I was thinking that maybe I should be able to have my own iPad too. I know you're thinking that if I got my own iPad, I'd be playing games on it all the time. However, iPads can be used to help kids learn all kinds of things. I could get an app that would help me study my spelling words. There are also apps that would help me practice my math facts. Lastly, I could download books to read for my nightly reading. Another reason why I think I should get an iPad is because we travel a lot. We fly out to see Grandma and Grandpa. We drive out, to, uh, out of town to Aunt Kelly's house. If I had my own iPad, I could download movies to watch while we traveled. Also, I could play games while we were flying on the plane or driving in the car. That means less time bothering you and Dad about how bored I am. Let me show you that you can trust me to have an iPad. We could search through the learning apps together and maybe even download a few books as well. What do you think? Okay, so the title of this essay is, I think I should get my own iPad. It's very obvious in this um, opinion essay that this child is trying to convince someone that they deserve and should have their own iPad. Um, the very, I'm gonna take, let's start with green. Um, I was thinking that maybe I should be able to have my own iPad too. There's his opinion. He tells um, someone, whoever he's writing to, that um, all of his friends have them and so that he should have one too. Um, the next paragraph, he talks about, um, I know what you're thinking. If I got my own iPad, I'd just be playing games on it all the time. Who would think that? If you were trying to convince someone right now at home that you deserve to have your own iPad, who would think, hmm, if I got them this iPad, they'd probably just be playing games on it um, all the time? Probably your parents, right? So I'm wondering if maybe if this is a child that has written this essay to their parents. Let's keep reading to find out. Another reason why I think I should get an iPad, there's their opinion again, I think I should get an iPad, is because we travel a lot. We fly out to see Grandma and Grandpa, so we know he's not writing to Grandma and Grandpa because he's talking about them right there. We drive out to Aunt Kelly's house. He's not writing to Aunt Kelly. He's not trying to convince Aunt Kelly. If I had my own iPad, I could download movies and watch while we travel. Well, who's the little boy or girl gonna be traveling with? Most people probably travel with their parents. Let's keep, let's keep reading. I could play games when we were flying on the plane or driving in the car. That means less time bothering you and dad about how bored I am. There's our clue, you and dad. So this person, this child, um, is writing this essay to his mom about trying to convince her that he deserves his own iPad. So we know his opinion. He thinks he should get his own iPad. We know who he's writing to. But there's one thing 
that I want to point out about this essay that's a little bit different from the previous ones that we have looked at. <clears throat> I want us to reread paragraph two. And I want you to think, what is different about this reason? Um, so far, we have written two reasons about why our candy is the best. But I want you to, let's reread paragraph two, and let's think to ourselves, what is different about this reason? I know you're thinking that if I got my own iPad, I'd be playing games on it all the time. However, iPads can be used to help kids learn all kinds of things. I could get an app that would help me study my spelling words. There are also apps that would help me practice my math facts. Lastly, I could download books to read for my nightly reading. Well, I noticed that the author mentions the opposing, um, the author mentions the opposing or opposite view. Then the author argued why that was wrong. When writers do this, this makes their writing so much stronger. When you add in an opposing view, and that means if you, if you do that, that means they have an opposite view. So that means they do not share your opinion. It, when you add this into your writing it, and you prove them wrong, it makes your opinion even stronger. So the author says, I know you're thinking that if I got my own iPad, I'd be playing games all the time. That would, that would be an opinion of someone who does not want him to get an iPad on his own. He does, maybe they think he does not deserve one because all he'd be doing is playing games. But then he says, however, I want, I'm going to underline that word, however, because then he proves it wrong. He says, okay, I might be playing games, but there's all kind of learning things. Um, I can get an app for my spelling. I can get an app for my math facts. I can download books to read. So yeah, I might be on it a lot, but look at all these things that I could um, play on it that would help me learn. So it's throwing in a reason that is the opposite of what he believes but then he proves it wrong, okay? So that's what we're gonna be working on today. So let's, um, let's just practice some. I've got two opinions over here on the left, one um, purple, on the purple row, one on the green row. Opposing opinions, remember, that means that they believe the opposite of you. This, these are some ways that you can politely disagree. It's okay for people to have different opinions. That's what makes us all unique and what makes us all special. And that's what makes, um, you know, living in the United States such a unique place is because we do all have our own opinions and that's fine. Um, can, is it okay to disagree with people who share a different opinion than you? Yes. Are there nice ways to do it? Yes. Are there um, some, not, some ways that are not so nice? Yes, and that's not the ones that we're gonna include in our opinion essays because that's, all that's gonna do is make someone mad. That's not gonna convince them to believe or feel the same way you do. But when we politely disagree and then prove them wrong, there might be a different effect. So it says, who would disagree with your opinion? Why? How can you argue that they are wrong? So let's look at opinion number one right here. Here's opinion number one. It says, every family should plan a camping trip for their next vacation. Maybe you believe that, maybe you don't. That's their opinion. Every family should plan a camping trip for their next vacation. Somebody who did not believe that might say, mm, camping is dirty and you can't shower. Two different opinions. One opinion thinks that every, every family everywhere should go on a camping trip for their next vacation. But somebody that disagrees says camping is dirty and you can't shower. Let's see how we can add that into our writing to make it more believable. Some people argue that camping is dirty. However, there are tons of nearby campgrounds that have showers, sinks, and toilets. So they took the opposite reason, the opposite opinion, camping is dirty and you can't shower, and they proved it wrong. They said, yes, yeah, some people might say that, that you might get too dirty, but a lot of campgrounds have showers, sinks, and toilets. So, that, so even though you're camping, you can still go to, um, take a shower if you get dirty. So it proved, proved them wrong. Um, and which makes their opinion sound more believable that every family should go on a camping trip for their next vacation. All right, let's look at reason, or excuse me, opinion number two. This person's opinion is that Frank's Frozen Treats is the best place to get ice cream, okay? Frank's Frozen Treats is the best. Now, that's their opinion, that, that no one has better treats than Frank's Frozen Treats. So let's look at somebody who might believe the opposite. Some people might would say, well, ice cream is not even healthy. It's such an unhealthy treat. So you've got one person over here thinking that Frank's Frozen Treats is the best place to get ice cream. You've got somebody who disagrees that says, well, 
ice cream is not even healthy. It's not even good for you. How could you include this disagreeing opinion into your writing to help you prove that Frank's Frozen Treats has the best ice cream? Let's look. I can hear you saying ice cream is not good for you. You might be surprised to learn that Frank's uses fresh ingredients that makes his ice cream healthier. So it actually included his um, disagreeing opinion that ice cream is not good for you or is unhealthy, and then he proved it wrong. If you will go to Frank's, you will find out that they have fresh ingredients, and that makes their ice cream healthier. So um, that's what we're going to practice doing today. We're going to practice including um, someone who disagrees with us or some, uh, someone who might disagree with us, we're gonna include their opinion in our writing and then we're gonna prove it wrong. When you do that, your opinion becomes more believable. Okay, here we go. What are some nice, polite, and thoughtful ways to disagree with another person's opinion? Here are just some examples. You can choose some of these to add into your writing or you can come up with your own way to politely disagree. Um, so one way is right here. Some people think that caramel apple pops are the best candy ever. They say they have ooey gooey caramel on the outside, but still I think M&Ms are the best. So you include their opinion and then you prove it wrong. So here's another one. I can understand why. So let's pretend that we think Dairy Queen has the best ice cream. So we might say, I can understand why you think that Dairy Queen has the best ice cream but I disagree. Very simple. There's another way you can politely disagree. Here's a third way. Let's pretend that the lunchroom has the best pizza ever. That, pretend that's my opinion. I think that BHP's lunchroom cooks the best pizza, even better than Pizza Hut. I think this because um, it's cheese, it's so ooey gooey, and the crust is cooked just right. Um, you can prove somebody wrong if you've got reasons to back it up, okay? Let's look at the last one. I know that Miss Smith thinks that caramel apple pops are the best, but I still think Skittles is the best candy in the world. So there's just some ways to include what people say into your writing without hurting their feelings, without saying anything ugly, but also by proving them wrong. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna pull out my, my story. <clears throat> now, so far, we have an introduction. We have a good lead. We have our strong opinion sentence. We have reason one and reason two. Today, we're going to add reason three, which is an opposing um, opinion, and then we're going to prove it wrong. All right, so I'm gonna reread my, tech, my essay. Do you like the taste of sweet, ooey gooey caramel and sour green apples mixed together? Then you would love caramel apple pops. In my opinion, caramel apple pops are the best candy ever. So remember, that's what I'm trying to prove. In all of my reasons, I'm trying to prove that caramel apple pops are the best candy ever. So reason number one, the first reason I believe that caramel apple pops are the best is because they have yummy caramel on the outside. Reason number two, Another reason I think caramel apple pops are the best is because they are seasonal and only are sold at one time of year. Now, I'm gonna leave, we're gonna come back to those reasons later, but right now I want to add an, an opposing um, opinion. I want to think of someone, what would someone say if they did not agree with me that candy, um, caramel apple pops are the best candy ever? <clears throat> so, I want to um, think of a candy that is very similar, so, um, but different. Um, I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with blow pops, charms blow pops, because that way I can compare and contr um, contrast the suckers a little bit. So let's go back to the previous page and pick out a sentence starter. Um, I'm gonna start with the, I'm gonna go with the first one. Some people think blank, and then I'm gonna say what they might say, what their opinion of them of it might be, and then I'm gonna state my opinion um, again. So I'm gonna start here, let's see. Remember, and um, yes, I am typing my um, writing so that you can see it clearly. You are gonna be writing your opinion essay on notebook paper and sending me a picture of it. Um, so be careful with that. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna say some people, and I'm saying some people because I'm in my classroom by myself right now, but if you're at home and you find somebody that disagrees with you, put their name in there. You could say, my brother Jim thinks that Skittles are the best candy. 
or my mom says that <clears throat> Hershey's chocolate bars, cho chocolate bars are the best. If you have somebody, include their name. That makes it more believable too. I'm here by myself and I can't ask anybody any questions. So I'm just going to say some people. Some people disagree and think that um, blow pops are the best because they have bubble gum on the inside. I'm gonna go back and look at my sentence starter again. Some people think, they say, still I think. All right, so some people disagree and think that blow pops are the best. We're gonna say, they say they are better than caramel apple pops because they have bubble gum in the inside. Um, but now I'm going to take their opinion and I'm going to disagree. However, I still think caramel apple pops are most delicious, are the most delicious candy. All right, so let's read that <clears throat> and make sense. Some people disagree and think that blow pops are the best. They say they are better than caramel apple pops because they have bubble gum on the inside. However, I still think caramel apple pops are the most delicious candy. So I've put their opinion in here that blow pops might be better, but then I proved it wrong. However, I still think caramel apple pops are the most delicious candy. And then I'm gonna say because it is, it has two yummy treats in one. So now I proved it wrong. Yep, your candy, your blow pop has two um, candies in one, bubble gum and sucker, but my candy has, that I love the most, also has two candies in one, caramel and sucker. So I'm proving them wrong. All right, so let's reread it one more time. Let's see how it sounds. Um, if I made any mistakes, I can al always cross it out, back it up, fix it. Do you like the taste of sweet, ooey, gooey caramel and sour green apples mixed together? Then you would love caramel apple pops. In my opinion, caramel apple pops are the best candy ever. The first reason I believe that caramel apple pops are the best is because they have yummy caramel on the outside. Another reason I think caramel apple pops are the best is because they are seasonal and only are sold at one time of the year. Some people disagree and think that blow pops are the best. They say they are better than caramel apple pops because they have bubble gum on the inside. However, I still think caramel apple pops are the most delicious candy because it, I'm gonna say is made. It is made of two yummy treats in one. All right, guess what time it is? It's your turn. I want you to think of somebody who might disagree with your opinion of your favorite candy. You might even ask around someone at your home. Um, ask your dad, ask your mom, ask your auntie, your grandma, or a big brother, or little sister. Um, you can even send me a message on chat and we can talk about our opinions if you want to. You know my opinion of Caramel Apple Pops, so if you wanna include my opinion in your writing, you can. You can politely disagree with me, that would be great. I want you to think of someone who disagrees with you add it to your writing and then prove it wrong, okay? That's gonna make your opinion a little bit more believable. You shouldn't, when you finish, you should have three reasons. You should have two reasons that support your opinion and your third reason should be a politely disagree reason. So three reasons all together. You should have your intro and your lead with your opinion, reason one, reason two, and then a politely disagree statement, okay? If you get stuck, give me a call. Happy writing.